traveling with that movie. I'm not going to do that for you. And this poem is about New York, and imaginatively it opens with the lines New York, New York. <laughs> the city so nice, they named it a thousand times. It's a big apple, the city of dreams yet never sleeps. It's a Warhol paints Marilyn and Dondi paints trains. Where Lady Liberty asks me a foreign hungry and a French accent and the Empire State is a proposal in a minute. It's where warriors come out to play and Pliskin is trying to escape. Where Bombard first broke beats and Rocksteady first broke dances. Where King Kong swims and alligators swim. Where 50 Cent got shot, Biggie Smalls got martyred and Kerouac got on the road. Dylan shacked up in the village and Sinatra sings eternal. It's where good fellas with mean streets. Miracles happen on 34th. It's Times Square, Brooklyn Bridge. Mayor Giuliani and J. F. N. C. Now in my strongest memory of New York, I shuffle under the stairs of a tenement, beating the graffiti, crack bars, and the raised voices of young couples fighting through the emotional experience, while the playgrounds overweight kid who never had a fight, swinging at empty air when he blows at land or accidental, causing more damage than intended. I breathe in damp vinyl, rugs rough with cigarette burns, microwave dinners in the fear that lies behind door number three, Lydia. 78, moved by the state because she couldn't afford to die in the home she grew up in. Now she flinches at every smash of broken glass, every dog that barks, every backfiring car that becomes dry by gunshots and a faded imagination. I climb bare, broken stairs which creak frets and collapse under my feet. I try and step light, keep my weight in my fist, my lungs full for buoyancy. Past flickering lights with the shadow shape, past bruised doors, peeling paint that barely muffle the stabbing laughter of audiences captured. Quickly past the marble black eyes of the rats on hind legs, watching me past with the mild interest of a farmer watching cattle graze, knowing the slaughterhouse isn't far away. I climb until I reach the roof. Pushing through a door held together by bootmarks, ragged splinters, marked pen signatures that will never see a checkbook. I stand beneath the orange canopy of the sky that stops me staring naked at the possibilities of stars and space. Even the moon hides the face. Occasional pinpricks shine in the smog cloud soup. Horizon crowded by... Sorry. Horizon crowded by bars held fast in a prison cell window, each monolith glowing a different checkerboard pattern, each testing the limits of heaven, their peaks lost in the city's sickly dust-to-dawn glow. This is my strongest memory of New York. And I can smell it as I inhale the stench of an open dumpster. Touch it as I reach out to steady myself on a sticky banister. Hear its shrieking sirens as I slow stride sidewalk with my hood up and my eyes down. 